Welcome back, everybody. In this video, I just wanted to talk about a few players that advance from the West Regional Combine to the National Combine that is going to be happening next weekend. I felt bad that I didn't get to include that as part of my Combine preview, but I didn't want to wait and just release a video just one week in advance of the Combine. I wanted to give the two weeks uh, so people can actually, more people can watch the video. So uh, I'm going to talk about a couple players that have advanced from that Combine uh, to the National Combine. And then at the end of the video, and I will leave a timestamp in the description if people just want to skip over the Combine stuff, uh, I'm going to talk about some channel announcements for programming about the channel and stuff coming up in the next few months here. Uh, but really quickly, before we get started, if you want to support the show, the best way to do it, as always, is by hitting the like button and subscribing to Hussie's Huddle for more content just like this. I greatly appreciate it, guys. And with that said, let's talk about a few prospects from the West Regional Combine. So just as in my Combine preview I did the other week, I'm just going to talk about a couple of players that advanced from the Combine here in the West. And so I'm going to do one player from offense and one player from the defensive side. So on offense, the guy I want people to pay attention to is wide receiver Riley Borsma from the University of Regina, who absolutely lit up the combine, uh, the West Regional Combine on Friday. He finished tied with the best 40-yard dash time with a 4.53, which is really fast for the CFL. Uh, that's a really good time for a CFL wide receiver. He finished first in the jump among all players in the a West Regional Combine. Even though he's undersized, clearly a really, really strong athlete. So I think he's a guy to pay attention to. You've seen a lot of guys like, uh, you know, guys like David Unger and uh, other players like that, Colton Hunchak in the league, a uh, little bit undersized Canadian receivers that have gotten a lot more chances in recent years. So pay attention to Riley Borsma as we go through the combine process here. And then the guy on the defensive side I want to mention is defensive lineman Jacob Plamondon from the University of Calgary, who was really a standout, the really only standout defensive lineman at this year's Combine, was a really good in terms of the performances, specifically in the three-cone and the shuttle drills. Those are always a good sign. You can show that lateral quickness. It's not so much uh, for a lot of positions. It's not about showing that long speed in the 40-yard dash or et cetera like that. It's more about how quickly do you change direction. I think that's what scouts are more looking for. So guys that stand out in that regard are always going to get a lot of attention from scouts. And I'm excited to see what Plamadon, uh, I'm definitely butchering his name, but I'm excited to see what he does at this year's National Combine. Now with the Combine stuff out of the way, let's talk about a few uh, channel updates I have here for you guys today. First of all, and first and foremost, thank you guys so much for all the support. So many people have subscribed over the past year or so, um, and it's just grown tremendously. I mean, it took me a long time just to get 100 subscribers on this channel. Now we're, we're way past 400, so um, thank you guys so much for all the support. I really love bringing you guys this content, and I wish I could give you guys some more content um, than I currently do, but, you know, just time restraints with uh, school work and, you know, balancing all of that. But I love giving you guys this content. Uh, and then the second thing that few of you may have noticed is that I actually have a new logo on the channel. I debuted it at the end of my CFL redraft video. And all the credit goes to Shane Ryan of 13th Man Sports. He designed this whole thing. I mean, I have really no capabilities to do any kind of graphic design. And this is really a major improvement on my past logo. And it really incorporates the colors of my past logo. Uh, so I'm really excited to debut that on the channel. As of this video, I will um, probably put it up as my main you know, avatar on my channel. So I'm excited for that. Uh, and... To this end, I'm actually going to be doing a lot more collaborations with 13th Man Sports. And I say a lot more, but I haven't really done anything with them to date. But uh, great guys. Frankie and Shane are the main guys that run that um, you know account over there and uh, that website. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have a tab on their website called Hussie's Huddle where you can watch my videos and you know nothing's going to change on the channel in terms of content. Uh, I'm still going to be doing the same kind of videos and you know short form content, some more in-depth pieces, just anything involving the CFL. But it's just going to give you guys a more of a, a new area to watch the content, basically. We're going to be doing a lot more, um, you know, potentially doing some podcasts together, uh, Shane, Frankie, and I. So I'm really excited to see where that goes uh, for this channel. And I uh, appreciate you guys. If you guys can check the, you know, 
uh, channel out over there as well. It's all going to lead back in terms of views and stuff to this channel anyway, so don't feel guilty in that sense. So I'm really excited to see uh, what happens with that when it launches. I think we're going to launch sometime in the next month here, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up that that's what we'll be doing in the next little bit. So effectively, I'm joining the 13th man team here. Uh, and then to that point, I just wanted to talk about the upcoming next couple of months in terms of content, you know, because we got the seasons pretty fast approaching here. And I'm really excited to see, you know, this season play out. And uh, to this end, one of my most popular series last year in terms of my videos were my roster review uh, videos that I did prior to uh, the 2021 season. And I'm going to be doing the same this year. And uh, I might get be getting started a little bit sooner than I uh, did last year because last year was a lot of the big rush in terms of trying to get it done. Very long editing process for those videos. As you can imagine, they're all about 30 to 40 minutes long. So, I mean, I'm really excited to get going with those. It's my favorite stuff to do. Just go in depth about, you know, get down in the dirty and talk about all the players on every roster. So, I mean, I'm really excited to do that again this year. Give you guys the positional rankings again. Um, so, you know, that is going to be a huge part of the uh, channel content going forward. Uh, but... You know, I'm also during the season next year, my plan is to also do, um, you know, during the week, you know, I did my game picks last year, um, you know, before each week of the CFL season. My plan is on my Twitter account to uh, do weekly game polls. You guys decide who do you think is going to win the games. And then at the end of the week, when I do my game picks, you know, I'll say what I'm picking and then I'll say, but the fans are picking this. So, you know, I'm excited to, you know, involve you guys in the channel in that sense. And go follow me over at Hussie's Huddle on Twitter for that. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can go you know, and follow me over there. And I'll be reminding people about this as well. So, um, you know, I'm really excited to see how that plays out going forward. So the roster reviews and then the game picks and previews during the season are going to be the main, you know, core of my content going forward for the 2022 season. There's going to be other stuff sprinkled in, potentially a podcast, as I mentioned, here or there. Um, so I'm really excited to get going with this season. It's really fast approaching. I think we're like 80 days away or something like that now, maybe even less. So again, super excited for the 2022 CFL season. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is that I'm going to be doing a draft live stream Tuesday, May 3rd, and I think it's going to be around 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Time uh, for the CFL Draft, and I'm just so excited for this. I had a lot of fun doing the free agency live stream this year, uh, so I hope you guys can all join me for that. I'll be putting out more reminders for that, but I just wanted to give you guys, you know, uh, confirmation that I will be doing that this year. So those are just the channel announcements I wanted to go over today, and I felt like the Western region um, I didn't in itself deserve like a full you know, in-depth video. So I decided to just plug in some channel announcements and I will be reminding you guys of a lot of this stuff uh, in future videos, but just wanted to give you guys some confirmation that I will be doing, you know, a lot of this stuff uh, that I did uh, previously in the future. So with that said, I'll leave you guys with the outro and have a good day, everybody.